Oh my goodness, I'm really tired, guys. This this match, I mean, Real Madrid, Manchester City. I mean, they just. If you love football, you have enjoyed. If you're Manchester City fans, now you're exhausted. You're tired. You're out of the Champions League. You cannot hold the treble. You're out of defend your title. And if you're a Real Madrid fan, then you're gonna be proud. You're gonna think that this is your league. You just come here, you just try, you just win, and you just show the all the clubs that how to play, how to go. I mean, Champions League means Real Madrid. Whatever you guys say, this, this I mean, this match was something special that I was just, I mean, Bayern Munich, Arsenal match, it finished almost an, an hour. I mean, I don't know like what to say, I'm out of word, but this this is incredible. This is Champions League and this is football. If you love football, you're lucky. If you don't, then I don't know how you are enjoying your days. Anyway, I, I mean, if, if you, before the starting of the, I mean, lineup, there was something that almost everybody was sure that yeah, Kevin Dubon will come back, Kevin Walker will come back. But who thought, I mean, they will perform like this? And I saw so many people that their prediction, even the, I mean, ex-footballer, the prediction was like Manchester City are going through. And uh, there will be a lot of goals. But the thing is that one one draw, it was just like, I mean, Kevin Dupre, that goal came from a rigor. He defends like he was out of his balance. And then he took the advantage, he just, I mean, like this, I mean, he just scored. And then Rodrigo from Jude Bellingham, the way he received the ball, and then anyhow, he just covered the ball that yeah, he took and then gave it to Fedrick Valverde, Valverde to Vini, Vini to Rodrigo. I mean, passed us a great save from Ederson and then second touch. Oh my, I mean, these are the goals that mean Champions League. I mean, if you want to talk about especially Real Madrid, I mean, they don't have the big name. I mean, I mean big name like Erling Haaland. I mean, Vinicius is a big name, but not like Erling Haaland. Vinicius is top, top. But Jude Willing is top, but Erling Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, okay, I'm just... Uh, Erling Haaland is like Jude Willing right now, right now. But, uh, Kevin De Bruyne. I mean, Luka Modric, he was top. He was in bench. And Tony Cross. Oh, my goodness. I mean, Tony Cross. I'm a winger, that, that guy, like, from, I mean, Nice to this club, Rennes to this club, I mean, this guy is became a, like, monster. I mean, Kamavinga is playing a big role. And the only one guy, nobody is going to talk about this guy, I mean, Real Madrid player, that's a Holland Mendy. I mean, he is the only player who wins both at Etihad when he played against Manchester City. Faster when he played against Manchester City, when he was playing for Lyon, they were knocked out. Manchester City were knocked out by Lyon. And this is his time with Fallon Mendy. And he was injured and everybody was thinking he is not at level like Real Madrid. But I mean two leg, I mean two leg he played a big, big game. I mean he showed that what he's capable to do. So, I mean, this guy, Carvalho, he's experienced right back, top top. And I don't know what to say, like, guys, everybody, every, I mean, not only Real Madrid, I mean, want to talk about Manchester City. I mean, you can just uh, blame Matteo Kovacis or, I mean, Bernardo de Silva for the penalty mistake. I mean, it's penalties, you can't blame. But I understand that, I mean, this is not the penalty you can take. Against Real Madrid or like in a big match. I mean, Bernardo said a penalty that even I think he has never thought that he is going to shoot like this. And Matteo Kovacic, that was a great penalty, but Lunin, anyhow, he managed to save. So, I mean, Jack Grulish, he has a good performance. I mean, Jeremy Duk, this guy, when he came, I mean, Manchester City just got the rhythm back. I mean, they just back. They, they, they just, I mean, they, they, they know that they, they, they're the best, you know, Jeremy Duco he came and Alvarez, I mean, he, he is, a, I mean, he's like Rodrigo when he come from off the bench and then 
he managed to do something different that other people cannot do when this people starts like early Helen. I mean, he's really, I mean, he, has, he will have a great, great future. Already he has owned, I think, all the titles. I mean, all the titles he has owned, I think. So, I mean, Matteo Kovac is, I can't blame the guy, but it is football like you can't. So, yeah, I think this is the way Manchester City. And I mean, uh, the good tactics, you can talk about tactics, you can talk about a lot of things, but the one thing is Real Madrid and Manchester City, these two teams, they just like to fight till the end. They just put everything, they give their best to do whatever is that they do. I mean, you guys saw the moment that Bellingham to Ederson. I mean, they were exhausted. They had no energy. They were just like, they had no energy to drink water. I mean, like, you, you I mean, if you see, even if there is going some girls, they, will, they don't have energy to look at them. So, I mean, don't take it negative. I mean, like, these are, they played like this, those high level. So we are just happy. We are just blessed to see the teams. I mean, the young generation that we are going to see the big, big games. And we are really, really happy. We are proud for these games. And we hope. But then, same final, I mean, Bayern Munich and the Real Madrid, this is a big match. And Dortmund versus, I mean, I don't know, like, guys, you guys know that. This Dortmund versus PSG, I mean, PSG, I mean, I mean, I think PSG is favorite. We'll talk about the, I mean, prediction, hopefully. And we'll get, uh, yeah, and we'll get a good coach. I mean, he's a goalkeeper coach. We'll get a guest and he will give his prediction and we'll see. And. Yeah, that's all. And um, Arsenal, Bayern Munich, I mean, that's, uh, I have nothing to say. Mikel Arteta, he, I think, he shouldn't have started Tommy Esso, but he managed to do something good. But I mean, he shouldn't have managed Tommy Esso. And he should have played, I mean, I have but he's good. Uh, I mean, Premier League he has been, but I think Gabriel just should have started. Martinelli, he was good, but uh, Kimi is, I mean, I mean, you, you talk about the history. I mean, Champions League, it's all about, sometimes it's all about history. I mean, Bayern meaning the, 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 the way they, I mean, that they play league, they play Champions League, totally different, like Dortmund. Dortmund plays league and the Champions League, totally different. So, I mean, these are the clubs, that they are history, Arsenal also a historical club. But Bayern, I mean, in Champions League, Bayern meaning is far, far away. I mean, Arsenal is far behind and Bayern Munich is like this, and Arsenal is like this. Arsenal has never won the European Champions League. I mean, how can you compare to this team to this team? But anyway, those are big teams, and the Arsenal also played a good game, but they couldn't get as manager score. But it's all about score. If you score, you will win. If you don't score, you will not win. That's the thing. And yeah, Hurricane is lucky too. He will he will face Real Madrid, but we'll see what happens. And I don't know, guys is going to throw but you know it's a real madrid but it's a bait they predicted already that real madrid is 41 percent favorite to win the champions league so second is pg third bad meaning for dortmund so we'll see what happens